Hello everybody and welcome to Lifeless Planet Part 7 and The Last Stand, apparently. I find myself at the edge of another settlement. Let's investigate. It's still the dark of night, so I can't really see what's going on without my torch. Number 5, eh? I seem to remember a wall that said number 4 before. That was before we went through that big alien doorway. Wow, well, this place has been trashed. Oh. Looks like the portal creators recalibrated the portal away from Earth and back to the alien homeworld. And the Russians were afraid of what might be on the other side. You got all that from a couple of photos and a diagram? Color me impressed. Hang on a moment though, there is something down here to look at. It's a document. About the portal changes. Here we go. Due to the power fluctuations we first witnessed last winter, we have been unable to use the portal. After the accident, we decided to wait for a few weeks to see if the portal stabilized. It didn't. And in fact, it has now been months since we have been able to transport anyone through the portal. Then, just yesterday, as I monitored the device, I witnessed something both exhilarating and terrifying. Through the flickering light of the portal, I saw for the briefest moment a fantastic alien world with unbelievable architectural structures. It seems the portal creators have recalibrated the portal to a new destination. Their home planet. We dare not attempt to travel through it now. Ah. Okay. Well, that explains why they stopped getting, like, resources and stuff. I guess the aliens came over and fucked their shit up. Or maybe the roots just killed them all. I don't know. I don't know. Remnants of a building here. Nothing else to look at though, I don't think. Not here. Let's just hop over the wall, as you do, if you're an astronaut with a jetpack. I see some green in the distance, and green's generally a good sign, so let's just keep going. Or we could not. We could just sort of stand here and contemplate death for a while, because I'm not making that jump. Not without... Uh, oh, hang on. There's some green all over the place, actually. If I can get down there, maybe. Is there a safe way down? It, mm, uh, not here, anyway. Unless there's something... Unless there's a safe way down to this sort of green path down there, or there's some jetpack fuel, I'm a bit stuck. It's got to be one of the two. I didn't go over there before. Can I get over there? Is there going to be jetpack fuel over there, maybe? Or a way down? Oh, actually, you know what? I think there is a tank up there. Is that it? It is a tank, yes. And that's probably jetpack fuel. Ah, yes. I bloody love it when I find these tanks because it just means so much more fun for me. Probably not a great deal of fun for you, but, you know, it's just... It's ecstasy using this thing. I can't really explain it. If you've ever been on Gary's Mod and used Noclip, it's sort of like that freedom... But it's uh, it just means a lot more because it's it's not as safe. I don't know. It's 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 exhilarating. It's a good word for it, I guess. There you go, though. My only hope is that it doesn't run out mid jump. Although I don't think the uh, the creator of this game will be that mean to me. I hope. Right. So my destination is probably the green path down there, or wherever it leads to, at least. Perhaps with this jetpack I can now get down safely? I mean, is there a way down there? Looks like there might be. Well, it looks like I can keep going as well. Let's just keep going, to, just to see how long I can go on for. Maybe, maybe there's two paths to this area. Maybe I can take the low route and the high route. And at the moment, actually, the high route is looking a little bit more fun. <laughs> Uh, we got roots up here as well. I'm going to try and avoid them. They're the, uh, they're the black sort. Sort of glowing red. Uh, some more green. Okay. Looks like we got some sort of like Aurora Borealis thing going on here. Maybe we're at the north of the planet or, or something like that. We're at the close to the ma magnetic north anyway. 
There's some red over there. It's kind of beautiful, really. It's really quite beautiful. That, however, isn't that beautiful at all. Um, let's go this way, then, I suppose. Can I jump up on here? Jump over there, possibly. Or... I might just be able to make that, you know? What am I saying? Might just be able to make that. I've got, like, eight jetpack boosts. Of course I can make that. I can make anything. Go that way. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Do you think I could make that jump? Wait, hang on. What is that? Right there in the distance. I can barely see it. It looks like a giant obelisk, but if... If my perspective's right, that is huge. That does appear to be where the green path's going, though, so that's probably our destination. That jump... I, I, I don't know about that jump, to be honest. I think there's another route, actually, looking over there. So I'm just going to play it safe this time. <laughs> really, it's quite fun. Definitely worth the five quid. Alright, very nice. That, that's got to be the moon. It just has to be at this point. Over here. Very nice. I'm sure you're all noticing that I'm barely touching the ground when I've got this thing. I just love to jump, what can I say? Alright, looks like we're coming up to some more routes, so I might have to choose my uh, choose my footwork pretty carefully. Wait, hang on. Skeletons? Im oh shit. Uh, what's this? Okay, I, I looked at the portal changes before, didn't I? Maybe there's a document, or is it a log, or... Oh, here we go, yeah, dead bodies. A grim scene confirms the demise of the Russian colonists. Decayed bodies indicate a number of people were brutally killed by the root creatures. Did these hostile creatures also kill off the intelligent alien race that built the portal system? I'm lucky to be alive, and only thanks to my decision to follow the woman. But if this, the strange encounters of the last hour are any indication, she may in fact be one of them. And that doesn't bode well for my ultimate survival. Nothing bodes well to your ultimate survival here. I mean, the odds of getting off of this planet are infinitesimal, aren't they, really? Bloody hell. I seem to be having problems rendering skeletons. I've got an amazing FPS drop. Sorry about this. <laughs> what, tape deck? Odd place. This is Dr. Vladimir Kerimov of the Soviet Space Agency. I am recording this message in the hopes that it will someday be retrieved and our mission to this planet will be understood. It was a peaceful mission. We discovered a portal in Siberia to, uh, 22 years ago, in 1974. This mysterious device instantaneously transported men and machine from Earth across through space to the surface of this planet. The planet was rich with life, strange, but also wonderful and beautiful, with an atmosphere favourable to life. It was decided that this world should be claimed for Russia, so the most amazing discovery in the history of mankind was kept a secret. Our leaders wanted to build a new and perfect Soviet society, so very quickly we established a colony of hundreds of people. In the beginning, this planet held so much promise. After a few months, our scientific team discovered that the native planet life was dying out. We had unintentionally introduced a virus that killed off a bacteria-like substance that covered the surface of the planet. This organism was the primary food source of the plants, and when it died, life on the planet died with it. Well, most life died. Some organisms remain, and they have mutated horribly. They are ravenous for any kind of food. We have lost almost our entire colony to these creatures. Even as I record this message, they are closing in. We have retreated to a high point in the Eastern Gorge. We will hope to reach the relic power structure, but it is too dangerous. I don't know how long we can hold out. 
Right, I'm kind of understanding why it's called Last Stand now. Wow, so... So I just keep pro... I guess I should just proceed, though. Is that what they were talking about? Is that what they're heading for? I'm getting closer to it. I think that's got to be what I've, what I've got to get to. And all of a sudden, my FPS comes back. Okay. Yeah, I had a problem with those skeletons for some reason. Anyway. Apologies for kind of talking over it, because it appears that... At the back of that audio log, in the background, there is a... Uh, a few screams that you probably couldn't hear while I was talking. So, at the time he was recording it, they were being killed. Wow, okay, what is that, exactly? I, I really have no idea what I'm looking at here. Is it on its side? Je oh. oh well. I suppose, you know... Makes it more fun when I can only use it in certain areas, in a way. But it's a bit of a shame. Looks like a white glow over there. A white glow of something I can examine, so... Without further ado... Let's give it a go. Past the massacre site, I've encountered the largest structure yet. This does not appear man-made, and was almost certainly constructed by the portal builders. Is this what the Russians were trying to reach? If so, they came tragically close to their goal. I'm going to press on a little further, and then get some rest until morning. Alright, that would be a good idea, because to be honest, I like the game, I don't like it quite as much at night because you can barely see anything. I'm going to have to raise the brightness of all this. Right. Is there any way onto this, though? Before I have a rest until morning. Any way around, possibly? I mean, what is this? It's some sort of metal, some sort of green metal, but... Again, it's, it's really too dark for me to properly examine it, and I can't tilt my head, unfortunately, so I can't really have a good look at it for you guys. I'll try around the right side, then I might have to just uh, give up. No, um, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get inside this thing. Good news is, though, that there's some green footprints down here. So, uh, let's just follow those. I'm back on the trail. <laughs> 